Determination of iron 2 concentration of a salt. The first thing you need to do is make sure your results are recorded really clearly. If your results are not clearly set out, you are going to lose marks. It should be clear to whoever's looking at them what each number is. Same with your titration table. You should set that out before you start so it's easy to use. Make sure all values that are in your titration results table are to two decimal places. Make sure you indicate which you are using as concordant results and that you work out your average titra to use in the calculation. You are expected to know that the manganate iron is reduced to Mn2 plus and that the iron is oxidised to Fe3 plus. You're expected to be able to balance and combine those equations. So you can see we've got a 1 to 5 ratio. OK, this is the bit where people sometimes get a little bit stuck about what they need to do next. So what I recommend doing is thinking about the information you've got so far and writing it down underneath the equation. So we know that the manganate was in the burette, so the volume of that is going to be our average titra, which was 35.55 centimetres cubed. We know that the concentration of that was 0 0.02 moles per decimetre cubed, and we know we pipetted 25 centimetres cubed of our standard solution of iron, but we don't know what the concentration is. The only one we've got enough information to work anything out about is the manganate, so that's where we're going to start. So we'll work out the moles of manganate. We're going to do volume times concentration, and remember the volume needs to be in decimeters cubed, so it needs to be divided by a thousand. And that gives us 7.11 times 10 to the minus 4. The next thing to do is to work out the moles of iron 2. Now remember, this is in the 25 centimetres cubed that we pipetted. And that's going to be 5 times the moles of the manganate. Which is 3.56 times 10 to the minus 3. The solution we made up was 250 centimetres cubed, so we want to find out how many moles of iron 2 we had in that 250 centimetres cubed. So to do that, I just need to times the moles from the previous step by a factor of 10. Once I've done that, I can find out the mass. Now remember, it's the mass of iron sulphate. Every one mole of iron, two plus ions, are going to give you one mole of iron sulphate, so the moles are going to be the same. And it's going to be moles times MR. Really, you should be using your periodic table to work out the MR, so it should be to one decimal place. I've just used the values off the sheet so it's not quite as accurate. So I got a mass of 5.40 grams. To work out the percentage of iron in the original sample, we're going to work out, we're going to divide our mass by the original mass that we weighed out. And as it's a percentage, we need to multiply it by 100 which gives me a percentage of 56.8.